I'm fellow comic book collectors. This is going to be a massive, massive, did I mention massive, comic book uh, unboxing. So I have three. That's not the big part. It's this big part right here. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. Massive. <laughs> so, um, so massive unboxing. So I'm going to slice it open. And I'm going to show you what's inside and stay tuned. <clears throat> wow. Okay. That was pretty major unboxing, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to show you what was inside all those packages. The first is this one, which is Incredible Hulk 416 or 418, I should say. Uh, it's the, it's the wedding issue, and it's also the first appearance of Talos. So uh, kind of a cool first appearance, and it's it's a mint copy. It's it's pristine. Now the next one, it's a little bit rough. Uh, this is kind of an interesting one. It might be something that might be worth something in the future. Um, it's. Shanna the She-Devil. So um, this is her first appearance. And as well, there's one and two. This is her second appearance. Notable thing there. And number three, <laughs> third appearance, obviously. Uh, yeah. And uh, number four, I believe is the first appearance of Mandro, this guy. Uh, so first appearance of Mandro and first appearance of Mecra. So I got this as a lot um, and I got a pretty good deal on it. So um, this one's a little rough. It needs to probably to be pressed. It's got a bit of a waviness to it. I'm a little bit nervous about that, but, um, but yeah, very cool. I like these kind of jungle women <laughs> kind of covers. They're pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, so this is a um, nice little set. That was in one of the bags. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what it is. They, the way that they shipped it, <laughs> they shipped it with the, the backboard on the back. So I'm gonna have to open this up and let's see what, see what it is. Take out the backboard and then we can see, oh, okay. This is Doctor Strange, Strange Tales 156. And I believe this is uh, the first appearance of Zom. So that was his first appearance. And now we're getting into the big unboxing. The big unboxing, the massive one, this is what was inside. A bunch of slabs and a whole bunch of comics. So uh, first bundle. <laughs> wow. Okay, so let's see. There's going to be a bunch of stuff in here. Some Golden Age, some Silver, a whole bunch of stuff. And one of my top 10 that I've been trying to get for the year is inside this lot. So uh, that's going to be the extra special one inside of this. So I'm just getting these comments out. So first is uh, um, if you've been watching my videos you can you'll find out that I've been uh, collecting all the Star Trek so I'm almost got a complete set now I think I'm missing maybe six issues so this is Star Trek number seven one of the photo covers and this is Star Trek number 10 I like these painted covers these are pretty cool it's sort of like some godlike guy grabbing the star, the Enterprise. It's pretty cool. And, okay. Now this one is uh, Super Real versus the movie industry. I actually ordered two copies of this. And this is a sort of Dan Mendoza uh, art <laughs> inside. Uh, he's the one that created Zombie Tramp. It's just a character I like kind of a cheesy campy character but I kind of like it so uh it just happens that the style for it was created in this comic so that's why I picked this up <laughs> it's an early Dan Mendoza uh thing so I picked up two versions so that's cover 
B, and this is the cover A, kind of like a, a maybe um, Kill Bill style comic there, cover. Next one is Fantastic Four uh, 30, and this is like a, sort of like a prelude to the, the, De uh, the Marvel Zombies. So this is kind of like intro to the Marvel Zombies. And this is also related to the Marvel Book Zombies. I think one is the cameo and one is the first appearance. I believe the this is the cameo. And it's uh, Fantastic Four number 23. And the next one is uh, Doom Patrol. This is sort of like uh, when Doom Patrol sort of uh, got restarted kind of thing. So it's kind of cool. And... Next one is Showcase 82. I forgot, to, um, I'm trying to remember what first appearance this is. Showcase 82, I'm gonna look it up and then I'm gonna tell you what it is. Just give me one sec here. Uh, it was really obvious too, actually. Uh, it was Showcase, uh, the first appearance of the Nightmaster. Now, I've been, I've sort of been trying to pick up all the key issues from Showcase. There's a bunch of Showcase that have some kind of key issues, like um, like Showcase uh, 80 has the first Silver Age uh, Spectre. And so I've been trying to get different, or actually Phantom Stranger, I should say. Uh, so I, I've been, I ordered a bunch of the key issues of uh, Showcase from, from, uh, my comic shop. So these are all coming from my comic shop. The next one is uh, Star Trek 61. This is really beaten up. I thought it was going to be a bit better. Um, but this is the last issue from the series of Star Trek. So this is the last issue of the Gold Key Star Trek series. So kind of cool to get the last issue always. And <laughs> this one's a bit of a joke one. Uh, Strawberry Shortcake. Number one, I actually played a joke on my son where I was telling him I was going to get him strawberry shortcakes. So that's what this is. Um, next is so one sec here. It's another package. There's a lot in here. So okay, now, we're going to get to the slab soon. Oh, this one you probably recognize. Is Detective Comics uh, 298, and this is the first appearance, Silver Age, I should say, Silver Age appearance of Clayface, and it's nice. It's nice, three zero. It's a reasonable grade, reasonably low grade, but looks good. And then I've been collecting. I've been trying to get a full set of Wonder Woman from one all the way up to 329. So this is uh, Wonder Woman 94. So it's like um. Golden Age comic. And then this one is kind of an interesting one. This is World's Finest uh, 88. And this is the first Silver Age Joker. So this is the first time that Joker, the Joker appeared in the Silver Age. Now this is a low grade, but even in a low grade, it's pretty pricey per comic. Um, and not many people even know that this is uh, the first Silver Age Joker. So it's kind of a cool comic. It's not necessarily the first cover with the Joker, but it's the first Silver Age Joker. Uh, and then I, I, I've been collecting, I collect Captain Marvel, so another Golden Age comic. And this is Captain Marvel uh, 90, which is uh, Mr. Tawny's first cover appearance. So this is <laughs> uh, kind of a cool comic for that reason. Uh, so I kind of like that. And Oh, sorry, that's not the first cover. Um, that's that's just a Tawny cover, but it, this is the first cover, Tawny. Uh, Tawny the t Talking Tiger. So this guy right here is in Captain Marvel Adventures 82. I was trying to remember. I, I got it mixed up. So, Oh, shoot. Oh, well, this one is Wonder Woman number 110. I won these in... Uh, my comic shop has like a weekly auction. I won these all in the auction. 
and it's a low grade. It's a 1.8, <laughs> so it's pretty low grade. And they even drew a mustache on Wonder Woman, which kind of is a little bit sad. But other than that, it looks quite nice. And this is Panic number one. Um, I actually got Panic before, and now this is just sort of, I'd like to get the first issue of a series. So this is Panic number one. Panic is kind of like a golden age um, comic that uh, was very similar to Mad Magazine. So another EC creation. And another golden age uh, Wonder Woman. And this is uh, Wonder Woman number 73. Kind of a cool Wonder Man issue. It is, you can see that it's in low grade. It has a big rip right out of it here. So it's a little bit rough. I'm just kind of disappointed. I didn't realize when I bought it, uh, when I bid it on the auction, that there was this much damage in this corner. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. You know, sometimes like you buy like a, something that's like a two or like a lower grade, and it's usually just because the spine is split or the cover is detached, but this is actually pretty extensive damage, which is kind of sad. But uh, next, so you'll see that I'm getting a lot of these Golden Age <laughs> Wonder Woman and Golden Age um, Captain Marvel Adventures. Those are the two big series that I'm collecting. And now the next one, this is going to be a bunch of Showcase. So Showcase uh, 77, which is the first appearance of Angel and the Ape. I just thought it was kind of a quirky series and I kind of thought it was cool. So that's Angel and the Ape, first appearance. And this is Showcase 74, which is the first appearance of Anthro. <laughs> so kind of cool. And then I got ROM number one. Okay. So I just thought that was kind of cool. I've been trying to collect a lot of these like um, uh, Marvel related uh, like you know, Transformers and uh, Voltron and all these kind of comics with robots. <laughs> so, I don't know, something to do. Um, next one, this one I got, and it's kind of a joke one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I'm not sure if you'll get the joke, but we'll see. Uh, this one has, um, the cover was one of those ones where it was kind of suggestive. And it's in this area where it's suggestive. So, you can get the suggestion. <laughs> it's just sort of a funny cover. So uh, this is Strange Tales number 113. And this is actually, I think, believe it or not, I think it's actually an early um, Doctor Strange comic as well. So <laughs> it's, I got it more for the joke element rather than the necessarily the, uh, you know, which characters made their appearance in it. Okay, now I got another showcase. This is showcase uh, number 78. And this is the first appearance of Johnny Double. So not a major character or anything, but I just thought it was cool. I'm trying, as I said, I'm trying to get a set of all the showcase ones that have a major first appearances. I'm working my way towards getting that first flash, <laughs> Silver Age flash. So that's what's in mind there. And the next one is uh, Flash 113, speaking of Flash. And this is the first appearance of the Trickster. So uh, yeah, kind of cool um, Silver Age Flash. Okay, so next, next lot. There's just so many. As I said, this is a massive unboxing. So if you're watching this, be patient. There's a lot of stuff to see. So this is gonna be more it's more Wonder Woman. It's more Golden Age Woman. Wonder Woman. This is Wonder Woman '87, and this is the you know nice early Wonder Woman. The the cutoff for Wonder Woman from Golden Age to Silver is '98. So these are considered Golden Age, and this is another Golden Age Wonder Woman. Uh, Wonder Woman number '84. And this is kind of a cool cover. I like. I like these covers where it's like, you know, two of them in fighting and, you know, it's kind of cool. And this is not a bad grade. It's a 2.5. It actually shows quite nicely. And one more Golden Age Wonder Woman. 
Wonder Woman 83. So this one's kind of cool. Nice underwater one with a shark. Okay, super cool. And this, this is the comic that was on my list of uh, the 10 that I want to get this year. And I didn't know what it would actually look like. It's much thinner than I would expect. Um, it is Captain Britain number eight. And this is uh, the very first appearance of, um, oh, one sec here, I'm getting attacked, um, <laughs> of um, Psylocke. So she made her first appearance in this magazine. And then later she made her appearance in the New Mutants. So um, I, I kind of like Psylocke as a character. I think she's, you know, they have lots of really great covers with her, a lot of sexy covers. And this is her first appearance, and it's on a high grade, too. It's a 7.5, so it's a nice grade. So uh, that's her first appearance. And that was on my top 10 list that I put out in January of comics that I wanted to get. <laughs> so I was really excited to get that one. Now, I still have four slabs to go, so we'll, we'll open up the slabs now. So let's see this first one. This was sort of a comic that might not be a great spec, um, but I sort of got it when it was kind of losing a bit of value. And um, this is Kung Fu Fighter number one. And it's, an, it's you know, I paid a hundred bucks for it. It's not like I paid a lot of money for it. Um, and it's in a high grade, it's nine four. So pretty nice. I actually gave them a, I think they, it was sort of like a best offer and I got a pretty good deal on it. Next one. Is a Wonder Woman. So this, you'll notice there's a lot of Golden Age Wonder Woman in this. This is another Golden Age Wonder Woman. And it's Wonder Woman number 89. So a nice Golden Age Wonder Woman with like UFO and stuff in the background. It's kind of cool. So, and then two more slabs to go. Okay, this is a kind of a cool one. As I said, I was collecting key uh, showcase. This is showcase number 97. And again, I, I got a best offer on this. And it was like, I think it was like 50 bucks or something like that. It wasn't really that much. Um, and I just, you know, I like the cover. <laughs> I like yeah. the, the first appearance of, uh, of uh, Power Girl was in show, uh, All Star Comics, but it's actually, she's really small on the cover. You know, she's there on the cover, but it's just really small. It's not really a great cover of her. But this is her first solo series, like a solo comic, I should say. And it's just kind of cool that, you know, it's like full on, you see her in her full form. And she doesn't have the, 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 the collar that you, we normally associate where it's kind of an open panel, but it is, uh, you know, a very cool Power Girl cover. So that, uh, that's that one. And the last slab, and then we're done. This was a pretty big unboxing. Is this pretty special one? Uh, let's see if I can get it out here. It's X Men 13. X Men 13 is, I'm trying to get a series, uh, uh, like I'm trying to get a set from 1 to 20. Actually, I have the complete set now. It's just I'm waiting for most of them to arrive in the mail. So, um, this is one of the ones that I was waiting for to complete my set of from one to 20 of X-Men. And um, yeah, it's the second appearance. It's not a major issue in any way. It's the second appearance of the Juggernaut. And it's kind of a cool, cool cover. So yeah. So that's, that's, that was the unboxing. <laughs> so if you stay tuned to this part, I hope you enjoyed everything and um, stay tuned. Actually, I'm going to be opening up a huge package that's coming tomorrow. Uh, FedEx tried to deliver today, but they couldn't. So I'm going to be getting it tomorrow. So there's going to be another unboxing either in the next video or the video after where I'll be showing that and that make this unboxing look small. <laughs> it's a huge unboxing. 
So stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, thanks again. Subscribe, please. <laughs>